<laughs> Let's talk about what it's like to develop follower skills and technique. What? A lot of beginning followers can feel very tense and stressed because they go to socials and they're like, all these leads give me signals, I do not know what to do. And um, I can feel very panicky if you go into a dance and as a follower you don't know what's happening next and you're scared about missing something. And yes. Sometimes at the end of a dance, like a follower can feel down because I've missed all of these things. Um, part of what contributes to this is how a lot of classes are designed. A lot of classes are designed to be very lead-centric. They're very much focused on teaching how to do a choreography, particular dance moves. However, as a follower, what you really need to learn is what are the following rules? How do I recognize them? How do I react quickly to them? So I'll tell you some of the follower techniques. Um, the first rule is whenever you don't get a signal, it means just keep on doing what you're doing. Let's say if you do the basic, 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 just keep doing the basic. If the follower is in front of, if the leader is in front of you, behind you, it doesn't matter. You just keep doing the basic. If you do a central move, um, let's say you come up on a body wave and you don't feel anything, you just complete the movement. And um, I know it can be scary, like, hey, I'm not being told what to do, but you can kind of relax. If you don't feel anything, simply continue. The second thing is, a lot of leading is done with a prep. So you, if you feel a little push to the side, the leader probably wants to send you the opposite way. If you feel like a little push down, the leader probably actually wants to come, you to come up. And it's very instinctual. Um, you can, if you kind of allow things to happen and relax, um, you'll feel a trap and you'll naturally move in the other direction. Um, a lot of followers often want to know what moves are there. They're like 200 moves, and then after you learn 200 moves, there are 200 more to know. But if you understand the principles of continuing and traps, you can figure out those 200 and another 200 moves. Another common thing are blocks. A block is, for example, if a leader blocks your hips from continuing to move, and as the name says, a block blocks you from moving, so you want to continue the movement unless number three, it's a block, and then you're blocked, and the leader will probably lead you in a different direction where he wants or she wants you to move. And as you kind of get the basic following rules and you become familiar with it, it often happens that followers learn progress a lot faster than leaders, and then followers can become very impatient, and they can also become very upset if a leader doesn't get things, or a leader might be very consumed by figuring out a move, how to lead it, how to memorize steps, and the leader has, that's the follower, has nothing to do but pay attention to the music, she'll notice if he's off. And um, the next step is to develop empathy for leaders and to be able to, hey, I know my leader is a little stressed out right now, so I'm struggling a little bit, but I've got this beautiful music playing and I can just chill and enjoy the music. It's all good. That's it. A third phase of learning is when followers learn to add styling. Styling is if as a follower you add something of your own. Let's say you do a turn, so this hand is free and you add maybe a comb or something like that. Um, adding styling is actually really hard because 
You don't know ahead of time when you can add style and you might just notice, well, I have two beats of time to add styling. Here's an idea on what to do, let's do it. Um, that's why a lot of times leaders learn very slowly in the beginning, but then they are learning trajectory speeds up. Followers learn very fast in the beginning and then they start to face their challenges as they become advanced followers. Oh, 